Okay, we're joined by Liam Spence. Our first question is gonna be by Ben McGee. Yeah, Liam, I've got two for you. Just from your perspective at shortstop, what did you see out of Camden today? Uh, Camden was incredible today. He, uh, he pounded the zone and he works fast. And uh, as a defender, when your pitch is working fast, it's easy to stay locked in. So we really appreciate that out of Cam. And then after losing on Wednesday and having to win three in a row, uh, kind of taking the scenic route to get to Sunday, just why do you think this team is able to overcome that type of adversity and make it to the title game? Uh, I mean, we just focus on the next task at hand. And uh, we've been doing that all year, trying to bounce back from a loss. And uh, it's just a group that has a lot of confidence. And we go out there grinding each day. and. Uh, just focusing on what we got to do uh, that day, and we'll move on to the next day when that comes. Okay, our next question is by from Ryan with VolQuest.com. Seems like you were in maybe a, a short, cold stretch going into the week. Just is there anything you can credit out of uh, you kind of looking like your more normal self the past few days? Uh, just sticking with the approach. Uh, it's been working all season. Uh, there's no reason to get away from it, and uh, the hits will come. Uh, just trusting that. Uh, what I'm doing is what working, and and uh, excuse me, and uh, the hits will come. But just trusting what I was doing and having fun. Hey, and Wes Rucker, your question. Yeah, Liam, to kind of to kind of build off of that, I know that when you go through uh, an entire season basically with only maybe one little mini slump in there, and then you start to go into that rut maybe a week or two ago. Was there a part of you in the back of your mind that you're having to fight off that feeling of, oh, man, this is the wrong time of the year to be doing this? Uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said that I hadn't thought about it, but it wasn't really worrying me because uh, as soon as uh, the season ended, it's kind of like a fresh start. to uh, Once the playoffs start, it's just a fresh start to the season. And I uh, went with the approach that uh, has been working with me for all season. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be getting on base again for the boys. And what about you know the way that y'all were able to to go out there and blank Florida, you know, without having any of the three weekend starters available? I know that Camden's the guy who's been there and done that a little bit, but just kind of speak to how how much more depth maybe this staff has than people think that it that it did. Yeah, I mean, we know we got a lot of depth in the pen. Uh, I mean, we faced them all fall, and we know that they're all good pitches, and we all have a lot of confidence in everybody that comes out of the pen. And uh, it's just good to see uh, guys today uh, step up and do what we know that they can do in a big moment for us. And it was pretty special. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Ben, you have a follow up? Yeah, Liam, back to back weekends, Liam's come in in a plus situation and had to work around some trouble. Uh, just why do you think Hunley has been able to, to be so cool and calm in those situations? The, that guy's composure is unreal. Uh, he, he just knows how to slow the game down and uh, focus on what he's got to do the next pitch and make that pitch. And it's it hats off to him for the way that he can just calm himself down in a, in a big moment in a high pressure situation. It's, it's very impressive. Ryan, your follow up? Looked like Rucker and, and Beck both lost balls in the sun today. Was there, from your view, was it any particularly harder to track balls? And then you kind of just answered it on Sean, but what does it say about Camden that wasn't rattled at all in that situation and just kept going about his business? Yeah, it's uh, impressive for Camden just to uh, wipe it off kind of and just uh, knuckle down and do it, do what he has been doing all game and uh, pick us up when we needed him. And that was just big from him and it keeps the momentum on our side, which is very important uh, going into the bats. And it's, uh, it's good to have a pitcher out there that can uh, handle that kind of situation and continue on with what he's doing. And our final question will come from Wes Brucker. Yeah, Liam, I had a couple of quick ones. One, um, in, in terms of you were talking about Hunley, you know, not being rattled. Have you ever seen the, the guy get rattled? It could be on the field, off the field. I mean, just like sitting at home playing a video game. Have you ever seen the guy like lose his temper or, or get <laughs> flustered? Uh, you know, I can't say I have. The, the guy uh, just always is, is always a calm guy and is a chill guy to be around and I think that's what we all love about him is he's just uh, always calm, collected, and he's a fun guy to be around. 
And lastly, if y'all, you know, you don't know who you're playing yet tomorrow, but but if it's Arkansas, how much the way that series ended, just how close all those games were. I mean, would y'all kind of be relishing a chance to get another crack at those guys? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Would we want to play? We'd love to play either of them, and we're ready for whoever uh, is on the uh, other dugout tomorrow. But uh, whoever it is, uh, we're gonna come ready to play, and we're all excited. Okay, thanks, Liam, for your time. Thank you.